Hey guys, Dusty over here at Diag Speed USA. Just want to give you guys a quick rundown on a new update that's going to be released here shortly. Um, this is an ESM module it's, uh, equipped in the 220 chassis, 215 chassis, and 230 chassis. Um, those are the SLs, uh, the CLs, and the S class bodies. Um, they do have the mobilizer data in here, and when they do go bad, uh, they do need to be reset. Typically, the old way to do this is basically you'd have to have this, your donor module, take it all apart, remove this little box right here, it's on the side, open it up, and either remove and write version data to the main processor or remove the EEPROM data and erase all the key hash that's in here and then reassemble it. Um, quite a task, it's a lot of work. Um, sometimes you can drop screws and that just makes the whole process uh, a lot more fun. Either way, we have this new update so that you don't have to remove anything or disassemble anything. You can now just plug directly into it uh, via CAN and the Diag Speed. Um, we will also be making these cables available soon um, we'll be making these so that you can bench test. Um, they have K-line connection, so you can diagnose with the star tester and can for the reset process. So let's go ahead and get to it, and I'll show you how it's done. Open up our Diag Speed Pro software. Like I said, this is for the older cars, but this is something that does fail quite often if you guys have, have done these before. Okay, so... Here's our software in the Diag Speed Pro. We're going to click on Control Units, and the ESM module is going to be in the ISM um, tab. So you click on the ISM, and you'll look down here. It says EWM. Click on that. Go ahead and read the data. Okay, so basically this is our key hash right here, just like normal, our dealer hash. And then this is our status line. Right now, this is how you're gonna determine whether it's reset or not. Um, when this does reset, it resets it to a personalized state, so it shows personalized. However, um, it's, un it's not activated. That's the only uh, box you will see that's not checked. So when it's not activated, that means you can repersonalize it and then lock it back to the car once it's installed. So, um, so this is the state. You're going to see 8008 right here. Those are the bytes you're going to look at. And we'll go ahead and click reset. Okay, it's deactivated. And let's go ahead and read the data again. Okay. See, now you can see it says 64 right here. And this is, instead of 80, it's 88. So this is our status line we want to look at. It's currently um, unactivated, still personalized, but unactivated. So you can uh, go through, install it in the car, and marry it to the EIS in the car. So um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, but this is going to be rolling out in the next update. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Thanks.